we are going to be setting up the uh, free PBX phone system in uh, VirtualBox. And uh, so, you know, go ahead and just download VirtualBox and go find the uh, free PBX ISO. And we're just going to walk through really quick the setup steps here to get in there. So first of all, you're just creating a new virtual machine. Um, I gave this one 4 gigs of RAM and uh, 80 gigs of disk space. And um, excuse the blue bar here because I, I got some customer information I have to uh, keep removed from this. Um, save it somewhere and then go ahead and just create your virtual machine and we're going to adjust some settings and uh, in case you need to um, review them I'm going to put them up on the screen here um, but essentially you want to make sure you have 4 gigs of RAM, 1 processor which should be the default 80 gigs of disk space, you want to go into storage and select the free uh, PBX ISO that you've downloaded you want to go to network and select bridged adapter and um, that way you're going to be utilizing the same network as your um, computer which is necessary in order for this to work correctly um, and that's it so go ahead and just hit OK after you're done with that and then press start to begin the virtual machine now I want to mention as well that uh, you don't need to use 4 gigs of RAM or 80 gigs of disk um, you can lower that if you don't have the specs um, probably half is, is adequate or even 1 gig of RAM um, if needed um, I just have 32 gigs of RAM in my machine so that's what I put in here but uh, so now I'm gonna just go through real slowly the install steps <clears throat> just so that you can see uh, what to expect when you uh, boot up and, and, and it runs you can feel free to follow along cross-check make sure you see similar things and um, I'll just explain as I go along what we're doing here. <clears throat> so um, here I'm going to disable IPv6 support because I don't have IPv6 running in my home network. Um, if you wanted to, you could leave it enabled. Uh, you'd probably be fine. Um, but I didn't want to fuss with it. Um, next it's going to go and just uh, prompt us to see if we want to set up our time zone to something special. I'm going to pick my time zone, which the closest one is usually Chicago. And then you want to type in a password. This is the password for the root user, so make sure you remember it after you put it in. We'll be using it later. Alright, and now the installation is going to check for dependencies. Everything should come up clean and start the installation process. Um, this takes several minutes, um, so I'm going to fast forward through it here in a second. Um, but for you, uh, you know, expect it to take 10-15 minutes potentially. And uh, here you'll see it hangs at 67%. Um, that's normal for me. I've installed this a few times. It almost always does that. Um, it's seriously hanging here for like half of the installation time, so don't freak out if that happens. I'm going to slow it down here again, uh, just so you can see the next steps of what happens. Um, again, just to, so you can cross-check and make sure that you didn't miss anything and that what you're seeing is normal. Um, you know, feel free to pause along the way and just uh, make sure you get it right. And here I don't touch anything. I let it count down. Um, that's just to make sure that it will boot correctly um, if I don't put in any input at that point. Um, you shouldn't have that problem, and it's just a habit I have from configuring this stuff uh, for production. Although not 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 done free PBX for production, but uh, uh, just something I want to make sure of because if I, if I leave the customer's site and it doesn't boot up correctly when it goes down inevitably and has to be restarted, uh, that means a trip back out there, and uh, I don't want that. All right, now these tests do take five to 10 minutes um, each, give or take. Um, I have paused and restarted along the way to, to get this to go along a bit faster, but again, just check, make sure that the steps that you see are the steps that I see, and um, that once you're done, uh, you've you know gone through everything needed and hopefully didn't come into Roblox. After it's all done, you'll be prompted to log in. The login user is root, and the password is the password you set up earlier in installation. Um, one of the first things we want to check here is the IP address associated to the ETH0 interface. Um, you can check it at the top, or if you type in ifconfig, you'll see it again here with the INA address of uh, whatever your IP is. Um, something you'll also want to check is the interface name. Here we see ours is ETH0. I've installed this before where it's changed to something else, and if it has, you actually need to change it back to ETH0 for free PBX to work. If you have that problem, let me know. I'll send you some instructions on how to do that. 
After that, go into a web browser and just type in the IP address that we found there. And it'll ask you to set up your initial user. So go ahead and create your username, password, and put in whatever mumbo jumbo email address you want. Here, mine is nopetnope.com. Once you create it, you can click on Free PBX Administration. And it will prompt you to log in again with the credentials you just made. And now it's going to put you through a barrage of, would you like to buy our stuff? Um, a, a parade of it. Uh, essentially, you can just scroll down on every one of them and either hit complete, cancel, or abort. Um, so, and, and this is asking you if you want a firewall. Um, in our case, we don't just hit abort. Um, maybe it's something you want if this was a production server, but not in this case. Again, not now. We don't want this thing. And it'll load up, and here's your dashboard. And now you've installed FreePBX.